So, Tracy Chun, Taylor Beath, and Manjot Singh present the bouncing ball problem. Okay, so imagine that you're bouncing a ball. Each time the ball bounces, it comes back 85% of its previous height. Assume that the starting height was 11 feet. Okay, so first what we're going to do is have a visual piece to kind of help you guys see how it looks like. So, I'm going to go back to the title page and kind of mark it, which is 11 feet high for the starting height. Go back. Retrace the diagram. No, you're not bad. So and how about we ask? the so black line represents each bounce. Now, the red lines that will appear soon represent the height from each bounce. And because you know that as each bounce goes, it's only going to be 85% of its previous height, it's going to keep on getting smaller and smaller, but it's going to be multiplied by the same ratio, which is uh, 0.85, and the green represents the ground. So you know that instead of arithmetic, it's going to be a geometric sequence. Right there. All right. I see. Okay, so now we need to know how long the total vertical path is. So what you're going to do is kind of retrace every bounce. And you're going to calculate and add every single part of the blue line. The ball going up and down. So the plus signs represent you adding and so on. Okay. So you have this formula and you need to know how long it is in 10 bounces. And that is going to be your end value. So you plug it right in. And your percent is going to be 85% because it was previously delineated in the problem. Now the starting height plus the second height yes. is going to be 11 plus 7.7, .7, which is going to be 18.7. So you plug that value in. And then, of course, go back to the starting height and input 11. Once you input every value that you have, I'll just move that across for a second. I never saw that. Ben, this class, how long? Drag that right down there, and there you go. That is the formula that you're going to use. Put it in pretty colors. Ooh. All right. So find the formula for the ball's height at its end bounce. And again, it's 11 feet. Okay, so you're going to input your percent value again, which is 85%. Plug that right in there. And since you don't know how many bounces it's at, you're just going to leave it at n. And the starting height plus the second one is 18.7. So again, I'm going to move everything out. And you should get 18.7 times 0.85 to the n minus 1. There we go. Now, find the formula for the total length of the path of the ball during n bounces. So now you have this formula. Again, visual representation, so on. Don't know how many bounces there are. So you're going to use a formula. Starting height plus second height times 1 minus the percent to the nth power over 1 minus the percent. You're going to leave n since, of course, you don't know how many bounces there are. Leave 0.85 as a percentage and input 18.7 as your first value. Once I scoot that over again, there we go. Voila. Now to the final question, number five. Sequence describing the ball's height at its nth bounce converges to a certain number. What is the number? So you're going to have starting height plus the starting height uh, plus the second height times one over one minus a percentage. Since again, you don't know how many bounces there are, you're going to leave n and put 18.7 for your second value, 11 for your first value, and then input 0.85 under the percentage part. And your formula will be, wait for it, Woo. And the number should come out to 135.667. Yay! So now you know how to do a bouncing problem. And it's the end. Yeah. Thank you for listening and watching. Are you serious? Wow. Thank you. Come here and pick up.